Hi, hello, NetTV for you viewers. This is your review, Raja. Today we are going to do a trailer breakdown of Game of Thrones season seven. After months of waiting, the first proper Game of Thrones Season 7 trailer has just landed and the trailer is about 2 minutes. Notable moments include burning of boats, Lannisters being slaughtered and of course the dragon. The new video suggests that Cersei Lannister and Daenerys Targaryen will clash while Jon Snow contends with the threat of White Walkers in the north. It also drops a number of hints about the fates of the character like Jorah, Arya and Jaime Lannister. The trailer begins with Cersei walking somewhere in King's Landing. She's looking as evil as she does and she tells that they are surrounded by the enemies. I wonder what she could have done to them to make them go mad at her. She utters these words enemies to the east which is the grey worm leading the Daenerys army and enemies to the west is the Euron Greyjoy ship. And enemies from the south might be from the dawn and enemies from the north is Arya riding on her horse from the north. On the next scene Cersei and Jaime plot their next move on a dope but totally impractical map. Jaime with Cersei is quite surprising but I guess the heart wants what it wants and then she utters we are the last Lannister. Next flash to Tyrion watching one of Danny's dragon take flight and then comes Cersei's amendment the last ones who count the next scene shows Danny's arrival to the Dragonstone which you would have probably forgotten by now Dragonstone is the castle in Blackwater Bay and Dragonstone is the original set of House Targaryen Dragonstone is the place where Stannis had planned the Battle of Blackwaters and then Danny says I was born to rule the seven kingdoms and I will the next scene shows Danny sitting on a throne in Dragonstone she's probably waiting to sit in the Iron Throne the next shot is a shot of soldiers fighting it might be Danny's soldiers who are taking over the castle Rock because of the Lannister sigil. In the next scene, some people yell the king in the north around Jon Snow. The place might probably be Winterfell. It is also seen that Sansa and Brienne are also there. So what's going on with Sansa? Can she really be manipulated that easily by Littlefinger? Littlefinger either wants to marry Sansa and become the next king of Winterfell or still he's loyal to Cersei. No idea. We still have to wait. In the next scene, Theon looks so scared and Melisandre is looking over a wall. It might be Dragonstone and she seems to believe that Jon Snow is the chosen one. In the next scene, Arya is camping in the north. She might be heading towards Winterfell. And that comes the little finger lurking in the shadow looking creepy as fuck. Next is Dothraki on horses fighting the Westeros and Jon Snow beating up Littlefinger. I think Littlefinger deserves this. In the next shot, a very creepy hand is shown. It might be Jorah's hand reaching through a door. Next is Dothraki attacking people and Jon Snow and Tormund were seen running Wait for it, it might be the White Walkers. The White Walkers are always an unseen threat. You know who can steam up the room? Yara and Elaria. Is Elaria going to kill Yara? Seducing is a kind of thing with sand snakes, so it might be a trick to kill Yara. And then comes this scene where one of Danny's dragons is flying over her army, the baby's first war it is, and the trailer ends with Jon's voiceover, the great war is here. So where is Bran and Gendry in the trailer is what everyone might be thinking. No glimpse of Sam in the Citadel. So we have to wait till July 16th to experience the best and to know about all these suspenses. So keep waiting and if you like this video, please do share, comment and subscribe to NetTV for you. Bye. So in the video, please do like, share and comment and please do subscribe to NetTV for you.